Welcome to this, the sixth Final Cut screencast. In this screencast, we're going to be going over adding a simple lower thirds element to your video. So to start, we're going to go over to the viewer, and in the lower right-hand corner, you see this uh, film cell with an A in it. You're going to click on that, go down to text, and lower third. And that brings up this lower thirds thing. And you're going to go up to controls. And here is where you can you know, change the text in the first line, the second line. You can change uh, the font, you know, a variety of fonts to choose from, the font style, font size, the tracking, and the font color. So usually for uh, the first line, it's either the person's name or the name of an event. In this case, uh, it is Derek Thompson. And I'll just leave these the same for now. And so now you can see if you go over to video, this now says Derek Thompson instead of sample text one. And I'll change uh, text two to his title. In this case, he is our news editor. I'm just going to reduce the second line just a bit. And if I were to bring this in right now, um, it would actually just be floating white text with whatever image is behind it. And what I really want is I want some sort of solid bar to give it some separation, to give the text some separation from the video in the background. So I'm going to undo that and go back into controls. And for background, I'm going to select a solid and I'm going to change the opacity to 75. Uh, it's just my personal preference. You can play around with your opacity. And I'm going to drag that in. And now I have the solid background behind the lower thirds that's 75% uh, opacity so I can kind of see through it and see what's behind it. And um, as we learned in the last screencast, I'm just going to select the pen tool. And I'm going to uh, fade the lower thirds in, let it stay on the screen for a while, and fade it out. And then I'm going to switch to the blade tool with B and cut off the excess. And we'll just play through that. Documenting stuff. And of course, I could have, uh, after I cut that, I could have dragged it out to change the duration to something that uh, I see as I see fit. I can also set the duration by right clicking on the lower thirds element, going to duration and manually setting it to, uh, let's say, five seconds. And I have to adjust the uh, fade out. Documenting stuff? Are you doing documenting stuff? And that's adding a simple lower thirds to your Final Cut project.